For over 30 years, the Ford Explorer has been one of the best-selling SUVs in the world. Adventuring, exploring the countryside, enjoying life, meeting friends. Owners needed some way to connect. The best place they ever did this was the Explorer Forum. And the new 2025 Explorer will let more owners connect. Hi, I'm Chris Gimbo from Explorer Forum, and this is your 2025 Ford Explorer first look. Ford did redesign the grills for the new 25 model year Explorer. Then there's actually a unique grill for every trim level. So if you have an ST or an ST line, or you have a Platinum, they're all gonna have unique grills for that particular model or trim. The new headlights are actually also redesigned as well. So they're very similar to the old design. They still have the light bar here, but they are actually more of a nice look and smaller compact appearance. The fog lights have also changed as far as their appearance. And the new 21 inch wheels that are in the ST and the ST line. Coming around back, you have a new wrap around tail light bar, which gives it a more sophisticated look and the LED tail lights. So on the ST and the ST line, you now have the option to get the black painted roof, which is actually a very nice feature because a lot of people would wrap that in the past to give it a more sporty appearance. Now Ford is doing that from the factory and you don't have to do that. It is literally a painted black roof. Some of the greatest features that you can see, it even has games in the dash. It's got lots of cool little features. They've moved all the climate control into the center stack as well. Still got the shifter down here on the console. As you can see in the new ST line, it also has all this nice, really nice red stitching in here. We have the uh, different types of textures in the, uh, on the dash. We have uh, Blue Cruise is now going to be optioned on the ST line and all available trims. One of the things I really like about the new Explorer interior is also the new materials. This got the sound bar integrated into the dash and also has these nice onlays where it actually has the Explorer name written into it. They have uh, several new covers, colors, and including uh, in the Platinum, the Mojave uh, Dusk interior. That color is gonna be wonderful. It's gonna look really nice. It has a nice brown tone to it versus uh, just a standard black. This particular unit has the cloth with the ActiveX and Poultry as well. It does feel a lot softer this year as well compared to the uh, previous ActiveX that I've actually seen. One of the new features, or you got the similar feature to uh, previous generation Explorer was the uh, drive modes. You have the tow haul mode, sport, eco, slippery, and off-road and then you also have your normal. These are the same drive modes that you had before in the previous generation of the previous models. One of the cool things that the designers did this uh, for the 25 model Explorer is that they used the elements, the earth, wind, fire, and water to help bring in design aspects into the interior. Like for example, this one is going to be the ST line and it actually has this really cool interior that is inspired by fire. Back seats are still similar to the previous model year. The legroom is completely sufficient back here. I'm a shorter person, but I do have a lot of room back here. And you also have the ability to recline the seats if you want to. And also the nice ActiveX on the door panels with the rest red stitching here. So my final thoughts on the new Explorer is that they actually did knock this out of the park when it came to a refresh of this generation Explorer. They added a lot of new features. It's nice and clean. It's got a lot of design aspects that I like, and it is a very pretty version of the next Explorer. So excited that I got to see this thing in person before anybody else. So I hope y'all enjoy this as well.
Hey guys, thanks for checking out the Explorer Chronicles. This is our very first episode. We're excited to bring you a lot of new content, including Ford history, uh, new models, and podcasts. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe because we're going to need this to help grow our channel and give you the content you deserve. Uh, so please hang in there and see you soon.